Hello there, you're welcome to this very fine Wednesday morning. It is the third day of November 2021 and this is the new Super Review segment on Tap TV. My name is Williams Abule and I will be your anchor for this new Super Review. What we do here is that we take the headlines from the national and local dailies. We discuss these issues as they come hot as headlines on these dailies. If this is the first time you're seeing this video, do well to subscribe to this channel. It is Tab TV. We're also on Facebook and on Instagram as Tab TV uh, on, on Facebook and on Instagram is Tab TV underscore NG. Do well to follow us. We'll be glad to have you on our platform. But by the way, thank you for joining us and let's go straight to today's work. Let's go through the headlines together. We'd like to have your reactions, drop them on the comment section. We'll be very, very, very happy to hear from you. But for today, let's go straight to the news of our headlines. Thank you for joining us. We start today's uh, newspaper review with this day newspaper. Let's jump to the headlines here. We start with the big one here. It says Anambra poll capacity to mobilize voters despite security challenges may be the decider. How insecurity, IPOP threat may undercut chances of parties, candidates. All right, that's the big headline here. We also see this one. Uh, it says raid on justice orderly's house. Impunity taken too far, says Supreme Court, as body of senior advocates call for thorough investigation. Incident part of APC's plot to hijack 2023 elections, PDP alleges. All right, uh, that's uh, coming from the House of. Uh, that's coming from the raid on uh, uh, Justice Odeli's house. We also see these headlines uh, coming from Lagos. It says. Furious Saolu visits Ikoi uh, building collapse scene, suspends LASBCA GM. All right, sets up panel of inquiry as death toll climbs to 19. Nine rescued. IGP visit site. Humanitarian minister uh, mobilizes NEMA. Bajabiamila orders condole with Lagos government. Another building collapses in Lagos. All right, if we need to get all the details, pick up a copy of this day newspaper and read up the story. All right, next is the Punch newspaper for the third day of November 2021. Let's go straight to the big headline here. It says, APC convention date shaky. Party battles crisis in 13 states. Quara, Rivers, Oshu, Abia factions. Others are with verdicts on congresses. APC won't give this new car to a careless driver. We will crash it, General Secretary. We won't withdraw court cases challenging Congresses, vow party members. All right, that's coming from the House of APC, so you can just pick up a copy. And uh, that news, um, that headline is coming from page two of the Punch newspaper, so you can read up the whole story. We move, we move on to other headlines here. Um, it says, uh, Ikoyu building, Lagos suspends GM, debt toll rises to 20. Families protest. Lagos not aware of project designers withdraw, says Commissioner. And then down here, it says, Oddly, Supreme Court lampoons masterminds of raid, says attack despicable, shameful. All right, that's on page 30 of the Punch newspaper. Thank you for staying with us. Do well to drop your comments and reactions on the comment section. We'd like, what, we'd like to know what you think about these headlines and, of course, have these conversations with you. Thank you for staying with us. Let's move on to other newspaper headlines. All right, we move to the Daily Sun newspaper and uh, right away we take the headline here. It says, Anambra Guba, candidates plea for Kanu's release. Anambra Guba, candidates plea for Kanu's release. Pledge peaceful conduct, urge IPOP not to disrupt election. All right, and then uh, we also move to another headline here. It says, security agents, invasion of orderly's home, impunity, taking too far, Supreme Court. Assault 
deployed by APC to intimidate judiciary, hijack 2023 polls, PDP. All right, um, let's also see another headline here, a very striking one. It says, bandits invasion of Guinea Abuja provokes fears, tension in FCT, kidnapped varsity staff, rescued, attack shows helplessness, failure of Buhari's government, that's the PDP talking. And then we also see by the side there, we see that toll in Lagos building collapse hits 29 rescued as someone who suspends regulating agency's boss. Uh, we must get to the bottom of these fatal occurrences, Tinubu. Right, that's uh, on Daily Sun. Do well to pick up a copy and read up the story. Let's see what other newspaper headlines are saying. All right, I have with me here the new Telegraph, and we we'll move straight to the headline here. It says, Anambra Guba, Igbo elders seek demilitarization of Southeast. Demand release of 5,000 detainees. Say heavy security building up threats to free, fair poll. All right, then it's, you also see under that it says, 17 parties issue 72 hour ultimatum to INEC. All of that story is on page three and four of the new Telegraph newspaper. We also see the headline about the building collapse in Lagos. It says here, Ikoi building collapse, developers window slums on site. 19 dead, nine rescued as Samolu orders LASBCA GM suspension. Three discharged, six still hospitalized. No cover up for the truth, Lagos promises to foot medical bills of rescued victims. We must get to the bottom of this ghastly occurrence, Tunibu. Baja Biamila Sad calls for measures to forestall reoccurrence. All right, all of that is coming from New Telegraph, so do well to pick uh, a copy of the New Telegraph newspaper and um, read up the story and would like to see your reactions on the comment section. So do well to drop them there. All right, that's all we can take today on the New Super Review segment. My name is William Savwile and it's been an interesting uh, um, read of the headlines today. And we're glad that you stayed through uh, the section with us. All right, we'd like to bring this to you again next time. Join us and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's Tap TV on YouTube. On Facebook, we are Tap TV. And on Instagram, we are Tap TV underscore NG. We'll be glad to have you on our platform. And also drop your reactions and comments on the comment section. Let's take the discussion further there. All right, thank you for staying with us. Till next time, I remain William Sabuli. See you next time.